Hi everyone, Courtney Chavante back. I'm here to show you guys how I take my product photos of my resin pieces and just some of the other things that I have available on my website using a light box, a tray, and some green moss here and some other accessories you may have laying around. So stay tuned, make sure you check it out. So this is the green moss we're going to start with. Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take it out of the pack. It comes on a nice little film so it's easy to cut. And you're just going to cut it to the shape of your tray like this. And boom, go ahead and put it inside your tray. So it doesn't matter if the bottom of the tray is cleaned off because the moss is going to cover it up. From there you just want to make sure it's nice and flat and to shape. As it turned out, I didn't even need the scissors anymore, so I just put those off to the side. But I went ahead and opened up my light box. It comes with a couple different, you know, accessories and everything. So first I pulled out the instructions, the information about what's inside the box and whatnot, so that I could see what's going on here. It came with this adorable little tripod, which is definitely going to come in handy because my hand isn't always the steadiest, so I'll make sure that my pictures are nice and even and consistent most of all. This right here is just like a little clip holder for your phone or camera. Um, you stick it in there and it holds it securely and you screw it onto that little tripod. And I guess this is just like a little customer service thing that they sent out. Thanks. So what I'm opening up now are the backdrops. Um, so these backdrops are going to basically be the background. I guess you guys know what a backdrop is already. These are different colors they come in. I have a black, I have a white, um, I have this gray color, and also I have this pretty blue. I'm just going to put these off to the side right quick because I don't need them right now. Alright, now this is the part we've been waiting for, so I'm going to go ahead and move the cardboard box out the way. But this right here is the light box. So it comes folded up nice and compact. I like that because that means I'm going to be able to move around with it and take my photos in different places. And I move around a lot, so that's pretty important to me. Um, right now, I'm just using the snaps and putting the light box together. It was pretty simple. I didn't have to look at the instructions for this part, but they do come with it so that way you can make sure that you got the layering right and you're putting it the right size to the right size. Alright, so inside the box there were these little cords in there. Um, now these cords, they are going to connect to each other so that way you're able to plug up the light box and turn it on and plug it into an outlet. Now it doesn't come with the little block thing um, that you plug into the wall, so you are going to need one, but I know a lot of us already have like a million of those laying around, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. So you're just going to go ahead and plug the holes into the right holes and everything and get that set up. Right. Now I went ahead and chose my black backdrop because that's classic. I'm installing it here, um, but when I turn it right side, I actually realized that 
I had it upside down for the way that I want to hold on because those little flappy um, holes, you do need those to line up in the back so that way they hold up and it's not falling forward if you know what I mean. So you're going to stick those into the little holes like so. Then you can set it up right ways and from there, boom. Right, let me readjust this camera for you too. Now the top part, um, they have like this little hole um, comes velcroed down so that way you can take photos from there if you choose to. Um, but I just kind of took it off so that way I could have more light looking in to see what I'm doing right now. Right now this right here is the little charging block I was talking about um, so it just has the USB connector um, you plug that on in and then you stick it in your wall okay so now we have everything set up this is how it looks from the front um, you see there's like a nice bit of space in here so that way you can really set your products up how you need it Those are this is the view from the inside. That's the little hole at the top These are the little light strips that come and highlight your products. These are the cords on the side I left mine folded up so that way they wouldn't be in the way because my outlet was actually pretty close by as you can see this little remote is the one that you use to turn it on and off and everything. Um, so this is what it looks like on. Um, there's still nothing in here, but there's really nice illumination. It goes across the entire box and it's really even. So I love it personally. This is what it looks like from the top so that we can get like a better view and everything. So you can do aerial or from the front. I feel like that's a really dope feature. Okay, so what I did at this point was I went ahead and put my tray that I covered with the moss inside my light box. I'm now decorating it a bit so that way I can get everything set up. This is a cute little easel that I found. I believe I found it at the Dollar Tree. I'm also tossing some crystals in there. There's some clear quartz. I'm putting some agate in there and some other things. I don't remember exactly everything that I use. I think that's some citrine too. Um, but... This part is just going to be kind of dependent upon your branding and everything, of course. I'm going for a real holistic type look. Um, you know, I do a lot of natural ingredients and stuff, so this moss and these crystals really work for me. I put my business card in there. I'm also going to go ahead and put one of my Cannabling ashtrays on top of the easel and get that set on up there. Ooh, sorry about the camera position is a little off because I'm holding it instead of using that tripod like I was telling you guys about previously but yeah I went ahead and put the ashtray on top of the easel so that way you know and get everything set up I'm just adjusting everything at this point so that I can get it how I like it All right, so at this point, what I'm just doing is I'm just making some fine tunes, some adjustments and everything, making sure I have everything how I want it. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so it's taking a little bit, but we get in there, we get in there. So um, basically, after I do this part, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Now, the first setting that we're going to try, we're going to work with this cool light. So this is what the cool light looks like. I'm gonna move it around a bit so that way you can see yeah it highlights it really really nicely
the next one we're going to try is the mixed lighting so this is how the light looks when it's mixed together with that warm and the cool so that way you can kind of get the effects of both I believe this one does illuminate it very nicely and it's a very nice universal one now the last setting is going to be the warm light so this is how it looks like in a warm setting um, with those warm lights I do like how the warm light looks um, but personally for my photos and everything depending upon the look I wouldn't use this one too much unless I'm going with like a co super colorful theme or something like that but I think they all look really great and this is definitely a great investment so make sure you check the link below and try it out let me know what you think